Having your best mate and business partner, having to move to the other side of the world, kind of sucks. Dude, watch the windows later, I'm filming. But, said business partner and best mate did leave one of his very expensive watches in my care. And when I've been extra special good, I do wear it. This is the Laco 7C Squad Watch and it was developed by Laco, it's a German watch company. It was developed by Laco in collaboration with the German Bundeswehr and that's like the, the German Armed Forces. Or it's not even like the German Armed Forces, it is the German Armed Forces. So this watch is really just, it's overbuilt in, in every single way. It is 46 millimeters wide. It is 17 millimeters thick. It is water resistant up to 100 atmospheres. And when the apocalypse comes, it's just going to be the cockroaches, my severed arm, and this watch. But being so big and bulky, it just makes sense that the strap's gonna be pretty big and bulky as well, right? The lug width, that is the, the distance between these two posts here and here, that is 24 millimeters. You see, even on my shame statement here, you can see they're quite different sizes. The lug width here is really already quite wide, and that's a 22 millimeters, which does cut down the options I can have of straps for this watch. The Laco shipped with this plastic strap here that looks a bit like a sex toy. I mean, I'm sure it's very practical in the field and blah, 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 but fuck this thing's ugly. Now, Daniel did manage to find a NATO strap at 24 millimeters. The way that it threads through the bars and the way that the strap is sort of doubled up in the back here, that just makes it sit far too far off the wrist for me. And that is, well, that's totally fine if you're a tatted up, tanned up, buzz cutted buff dude. But for my skinny little girl's wrists, it's just, well, it's just a bit too much. So I need to, one, take down the military thing by adding a little bit more refinement. And two, I need to reduce the bulk a little bit. But I just wasn't digging anything that I found online. If only I knew a leather craftsman that could make a bespoke one. But hold on a second. Regulars to the channel are gonna remember this belt that Seth from Adams of Yorkshire made for me a few months ago. And well, a watch strap's just a mini belt, right? So I guess, I guess Seth can handle it. And handle it, he did. Now, this is just another lesson in listening to your craftsman, because I was thinking black watch, black strap, black hardware, simple. But then Seth came to me and was like, I got this brown leather, gonna make it out of that. And I was like, okay then. You see, I wanted that refinement, right? I wanted that military edge turned down from a living. And the combination of the black with this brown leather, it does that. And the leather that Seth has used is absolutely beautiful. It's a bit lighter than I expected, but I'm certain with time and wear, this is gonna really bed in beautifully, darken down a little bit, and really patina, like getting that really rich patina. The hardware that Seth's used here, it does reflect the, the bulk of the watch. If I had my way, I'd have gone to something a little bit more delicate. Yeah, again with that refinement. But I think, yeah, I would have been wrong. Having this on a standard strap just makes the whole thing much, much more wearable for me. Certainly more wearable than it was on the NATO strap and definitely, definitely more wearable than it was when it was on the sex toy. It just, it brings down the sheer bulk of the thing. 
And that's going to help because, I mean, that means I can actually wear it comfortably underneath a jacket or shirt. And then it also, it just makes far, far more sense with, with my personal style. I mean, the military thing is certainly, certainly interesting. I like the aesthetic of it, but I'm not a military guy. I'm not in the army. I'm not going to be putting this through anywhere near the paces that it's capable of. I don't think many of us are. So adding this this slight element of refinement to, to military watch, I like that I like that counterbalance, I like that ju juxtaposition. So I'm just really delighted to, to have this possibility, to have this opportunity. I mean, I always said that, that putting a different watch strap on a watch, it's, it's like getting a new watch. It can change up everything, it changes up the style, it changes up the dynamic, it changes up the personality of, of even a whole outfit. And yeah, Seth's work, I'm delighted with it. Like really, the, the guy's got skills. And if you're interested in his work, if you're interested in checking out what he does, or if you've got an idea for a project, yeah, down below in the description, I've left a link to his Instagram. So really guys, go and check that out. Guys, if you made it this far into the video, I really do appreciate it. I know, I know how tempting it is to, to skip around YouTube. But yeah, if you, if you like this, and if you liked what we've got going on with this channel, it'd be awesome if you give this video a thumbs up. It really does help us with with growing the channel. And if this is your first time CRD guys, well, this is what we do here. We talk a lot about quality menswear, about crafted products, an awful lot about denim because I'm a denim head. But yeah, if you're new here and you've enjoyed what we've had going on, then yeah, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Next to that, there's the bell notification icon. You can hit that and that way you're gonna find out whenever I drop a new video. And yeah, that just leaves me to say, I hope that, that everybody's happy and healthy out there. Hope you're taking care of yourselves. I hope you're taking care of each other. And I'm gonna see you in the next vlog.